Hey Bricks, it's Brickly here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at my LEGO The Lord of the Rings Rohan Army. Starting with King Theoden here in the front, I think he is a pretty great minifigure. I love the torso printing on his, well, sort of robes, and I think that the the, the breastplate is a nice addition to the minifigure. And of course the helmet and the armor. I love the fact that we got this printing and of course the head mold for the Rohan helmet. I think that LEGO eventually did a great job at recreating this minifigure and I would have loved to have seen King Theoden in a set like Edoras where he would have been bored or something. It would have been a great idea for LEGO to well, compensate with all of the normal sets that they had made. So yeah, bring back LEGO The Lord of the Rings, comment the hashtag down below, and if you haven't checked out the video on helping me bringing back LEGO Lord of the Rings, go check it out, the card is on the top right corner of the screen right here, and yeah, let's go ahead and look at the entire Rohan army. I have built this, uh, well, back in the day, and... I think it is a great army. I like the fact that I got so many Rohan soldiers. As you can see here, it is a nice, nice army and I'm pretty proud of it. So starting with Eomir over here, I think he is a great minifigure and I love the fact that we got this minifigure. And I think he is great. I love the fact that you can pose him in the way that he is throwing his spear into the Eurokai army and overall I think LEGO did a great job at the printing as you can see here I used this uh, a lot back in the day I played a lot with the Lord of the Rings that is over over five years ago that I even played with LEGO <coughs> nowadays I just pose them and look at the armies and sometimes just put on some or movie scenes and try to imitate the voices. That's what I actually did back in the day when I was playing with them. I usually posed my Rohan army and then I had my Urukai soldiers right over here and just, just them fighting in a big battle without any scenery or something like that sort. But yeah, I'm pretty happy I got this army and as you can see here, I have a Rohan soldiers. All of them have the quivers on their back and of course a couple of bows and swords and I try to well I, I love the fact that you will have the quiver on the back because the Rohan soldiers in the game do as well I was kind of well debating if, if I wanted to remove the quivers from the backs of the swords and spearmen but eventually I decided to just leave them on and I think I think it does look quite satisfying to have so many Rohan soldiers considerably because they are getting really pricey these days and I love the fact that I got so many and I got these for a pretty cheap price back in the day I think less than five dollars a minifigure so I'm pretty happy I got that and I got them from a sort of well, local uh, seller who sold all the minifigures and kept the parts for Mox or something. So I think it is a pretty cool thing that I got have, have had the chance to get all these minifigures. So yeah, starting with the Rohan soldiers, we have a Spearsman over here on either side. And I love the fact that I got these spears. I actually ordered a lot of them back in the day. And we have the swordsman here in the front, as you can see King Theoden, and then and a couple of other swordsmen, two rows of swordsmen, and then we have the bowmen. And I got three of these bowmen with the Urukai army set. I think it is a great set, but it does, well, I think that LEGO should have made more of these. Eurokai army sets, so like maybe a set for Minas Tirith or something where you have your mortar orcs fighting against the troops of Minas Tirith, and that would have been great uh, that we maybe had gotten a Gondor minifigure or maybe even a uh, little guard of the White Tree, and that would have been great to see. But nonetheless, I think that LEGO did a great job at the sets. I would like to see LEGO Lord of the Rings return to LEGO. So 
If you want to support that dream, go and click the card up here. It is again up here and watch that video. Of course, if you haven't seen my Urukai army, which is over 150 Urukai, you should go and check that video out. The card is up here. And after you've watched that, come back to this video and we'll continue the tour. So yeah, if you are back right now, you can see that I got a few horses over here. And I did not really accumulate too many horses, but I would like to get more in the future so I can pose all the horses with the Rohan soldiers for a big battle at Minas Tirith. I will, of course, be collecting more of these Rohan soldiers in this year, but they will be pretty hard to get because they are getting so pricey on Brickling. I mean, they are around 10 to 20 dollars sometimes. And I don't think I will be getting a lot more, but my goal is to get as many as I can and just pose them with the Helm's Deep set and of course the Rohan uh, tent scene where Aragorn and Legolas go into a uh, well, sort of small pass which leads to, uh, well, the undead soldiers, uh, which were uh, ghost soldiers. So yeah, I'm pretty happy I got all of these troops. In total, I got 28 of the normal Rohan soldiers. And then I totally almost forgot to show you. So I got Gambling over here. Um, I tried to well, recreate him as best as I could. I actually used the face of Luke Skywalker with his hair. I think that is pretty accurate for a Gambling minifigure. And then over here on the far left of the army, we got Hama, the one who gets killed by the Warg in the Two Towers movie before the, the start of the Helm's Deep battle. So I think it, I did really recreate the minifigures pretty well. I'm a big fan of the Rohan. And of course, we got these customized banner pieces. And these pieces are from the Helm's Deep set. So if you are interested in making them yourself, I could eventually post a video on a tutorial for making this well banner. I also got an awesome an awesome banner for the Urukai army, so if you haven't checked that video, please go and check it out. And yeah, this concludes the video everyone. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Of course, subscribe to Brickly if you are new to the channel. You can do that on my page, smash that subscribe button, and of course, if you want to stay updated or want to post something, ring that notification bell. And I'll see you all in the next one. Hashtag bring back the Lego Lord of the Rings.